Hello, hello. I don't have my fancy camera hooked up, but I want to share this little hack with you. Um, it's pretty cool. So I'm going to kind of fake out the pivot points inside Arrow. And here's how you do that. So let's say I have a, let's say I want a bell that goes back and forth. I want to ding back and forth, ding, 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 like that. Right? So the way I do that, listen, this is my bell. I am going to add a start trigger. Uh, I'm going to say um, on start, I want you to rotate. Uh, let's rotate around the Z because I know that's what on the Z. And I wanted to go um, infinite and back and forth. And since this isn't start the side and swing out, it's going to go back and forth. So I'll add a little angle under here. Now let's look what this looks like. Thinking this is would be a nice bell, and it is right. But look where it is rotating. It is in the center of the object. That is not how a bell would work. If someone's ringing it from on top. So let's come back into Arrow, and then I'll show you how I'll fix this. Let's reset all this stuff back so my bell is back to where it. Uh, originally was. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to duplicate it. And when I duplicate it, I have cone 01. I'm going to drag that up and just so the tips touch where I want the pivot point. Uh, and then I'm going to grab the two and I'm going to group them. Now this is one whole group. So if I rotate this, it is going to rotate around the center point of the group, uh, which is great, but we don't want to rotate two bells. So I'm going to hide that top one. Now I just have one bell. And so I'll come in here and I'll create the rotate and I'm going to make the rotate around the, the group's going to rotate, not the bell, but the whole group. And, and I'll do everything I did before. So I'll set this to 45 and I'm going to rotate this off a little bit. Uh, and then I will say infinite and back and forth and let's watch what happens. It's actually rotating around where I want it to rotate. That's awesome. Uh, this also works for scale, works for anything. So if you want some of the scale out of the ground or into the ground, uh, right now it scales off in the middle. Again, just clone it, move it down. As long as everything's the exact same size, it'll work. Uh, it's a great hack. Um, you should totally use it and have fun. Go forth and create awesomeness.